guys, I'm Brendan, this is Ricky, and together we're ETFW. And today we're in the rocks of Sydney, Australia, right underneath the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Now guys, for a lot of you who have been to the rocks in our day and age, it definitely uh, wouldn't call it a scary or really haunted place. It's, uh, it's, an urban, it's an urban spot in the middle of Sydney, which has got cafes, bars, restaurants. It's really a cool little hip spot in the middle of the city. Uh, but it does carry with it a pretty grim and gruesome past. It dates back all the way to 1788 when the Rocks was first established. It was originally built as a port for Sydney, uh, and this housed convicts, criminals, gangs, murderers, you name it. It was, essentially a, it was essentially a cesspit for criminals of those times. Completely lawless, ran by no police, just criminals and gang activity there. Rocks also gave birth to some of uh, Australia's biggest gangs, to one of Australia's biggest gangs known as the Rocks Push. Now the Rocks Push operated all the way up until the late 1800s and they were known as being one of the most gruesome gangs of that time. Um, they did everything from raping, killing, murdering, kidnapping, you name it. They essentially ran the Rocks up until the late 1800s. Um, so I mean there's got to be something left behind, there's got to be some form of negative energy here. As we said, it's not really a creepy place to come to but it has got a lot of rich history and especially for Australia. There has been a lot of reporting uh, yeah, incidents of haunting. There's also tours that go along here, so there Super must be something. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what we can get. See if we can get it on camera for you guys, and hopefully we'll have a great episode for you. you guys, just also quickly say a massive thank you to all the subscribers and everyone who has been watching the videos. It means the world. All the support that you guys are showing us really gives us the motivation to continue and keep making awesome videos. Um, so again, you know if. For everyone who is watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you like the videos, and turn the post notification bells on so you don't miss when we go live every Thursday. Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. See you guys. See you guys. So guys, we're just walking around the rocks now, just moving down towards the Harbour Bridge actually. We'll crack out the, um, you know, the new toy, EMF radar. I'm uh, really interested to see how this works, to be honest. See how a lot of people are. believe quite heavily into EMF readers. I mean, <laughs> yeah. they basically just pick up electromagnetic frequency pulses in the area. Yeah, and I mean, like it's... To be honest... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. stop, stop, stop. stop. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. And you see there is nothing, there's nothing nearby it. Let's dive down a little bit. Wow, that is like freaking strong Jesus, here. Jesus, that just peaked hard. There's some like lights in the Harbour Bridge, yeah, but really but nothing. I mean, I don't think this light would be causing it. I mean, yeah. You know, if it was, it would be... Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's going nuts here. It's, it's, and it's every now and then it's it's smashing straight to red. So I mean this could be a hot spot. It's like hard to autofocus on it too. It's there really is, hard to autofocus on. Yeah. Because come to think of it, this is Observation Hill which used to be known as Hangman's Hill. I believe I so. Think, which is where they used to uh, execute people by hanging. So when you see those movies where people die by death of hanging. I think, from memory, it used to happen right here. So, yeah. 
I mean, if something was here, this would be one of the spots that it would be, uh, be pretty hot around here. Is it still going? Yeah, and I mean, like, as you can see, here's my phone. Like... So active here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like... The phone's not really causing... It. Yeah, the back, it spikes a little bit, but I put the phone away, it's still... It's weird. It's Anyhow. not... It's not... <laughs> yeah, I mean... Let's carry on. Maybe we should revisit here and maybe do a downing <laughs> session here. A yeah, maybe. Later. That's I mean, pretty creepy. I mean, what's the lose? Something right. might be here, who knows? Uh, and if my facts are correct, then we might come across something. Let's keep moving. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, for anyone international that hasn't been to Sydney yet, world's famous opera house and the world's famous bridges. Doesn't look very haunted around here though. I mean, you get all in Sydney. <laughs> excavation found it and then they uh, did uh, like restoration works to kind of preserve what it is here so these actually used to be homes yeah right god knows what happened here considering the history of the use with the rocks and how yeah. horrible and, and accessible could have been like gang hangouts or something yeah who knows what it could be okay um actually no no now you say it used to be a home look i just noticed behind you it's like the mantle of a fireplace look books shoes yeah this could have been, look, the table cemented into the ground, the chair. This very well could have been a living room. All right, guys, we, um... You want to do a dowsing session in here? Yeah, we decided to do a bit of an investigation. I also, Brendan, before you open it, I, um, I kind of brought something tonight. What did you bring? Oh, open it up and... Pull it out, show the camera. Is that a Ouija board? I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna show the it's camera. A, it's a Ouija board, isn't it? I don't really want to fucking touch it. That's a Ouija board, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe. Take it out. Yeah, it's fine. It's... Oh, you fucking kidding me. We've got to do it sometime. Yeah, but I said I don't want to do this, man. Yeah, I know, but we've got to do it. Yeah, but this is when the shit gets fucking real, man. I mean, we've talked about this for ages. I mean, there's, there's never going to be a good time to do it. Yeah, I, mean, I would rather just honestly get it out of the way. Yeah, and this is where, like, 
possessions and that kind of fucking bush. Like when you watch the Conjuring movies and shit like that, that's this shit fucking originates from that. As well, we never said, knew what was going to happen with that. dowsing was before we used them. Yeah, but I didn't think, you know? I was a skeptic. I didn't really, like being a skeptic, that's fine. But this I knew not to fuck with because there's history behind this. I've read fucking stories about this shit being fucked up. So you're gonna let me do it on my own then? I mean, we're doing it one way or another I tonight, man. <laughs> you know. Where'd you either. put the planchet? So. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. Do the circles in this way. Are you ready? Ouija, Ouija, we wanna play. If there's anything here with us right now, any spirits, can you move this planchet? I'm holding it really loosely. This, the old trusty dowsing rules that we know work. So if there are any spirits here that wish to communicate, can you please cross the rocks? Maybe this spot just is, maybe just this spot isn't that hot. I don't know. You know, I mean, there are other spots that are hotter around here, but maybe this spot isn't. Maybe it's just not. Yeah. I mean, these were just houses. I would assume that some, something has gone down here, but you know, nothing was reported here. I, I, I say we try it, but um, the hill where I think people were hung. Right. If, if we're going to get any activity, I would imagine we'd be up there. Let's do that. Things would be so, uh, I mean, I don't want to do this, and I still no, fucking really hate weird. you for getting this. Yeah. But, you know, if we're going to do it, I would say we do it up there. Yeah. The place is, that I know is reported as haunted, I said we'd take a stroll down there, if you reckon. Let's head back. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to take this. We're going to go to another spot. We're going to give it one more try. I mean, as much as we want it to work tonight, you know, guys, like, um, I'm not going to debunk from one night saying that this doesn't work. Um, might just be the area. It might be us. Might just be that there's nothing here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go try it in another spot, and let's just prove 100% that... Let's just make sure... Let's just dot the I's, cross the T's before we call it a night. Let's go to this spot and give it a try. That way we know 100% if it's the board or not. Yeah. 
Alright guys, we're back in the starting location just under the harbour bridge. Uh, we just finished our walk around of the rocks. Um, again, like you guys will see in the video, um, nothing weird. Again, I, I, we're going to say it was a bit of a bust. We're going to say debunked on the rocks being haunted. Um, we tried the EMF radar. Again, it was kind of going weird all night. We can't really say for sure whether it was um, you know, something to do just with electromagnetic frequencies being such as rail lines. Yeah, or, I mean, like it could be because we're in the city. There's a lot yeah. of you know Wi-Fi readers. There's you know, satellite towers, trains, cars, whatever. It, 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 All it, sorts it, of it stuff. Could, it could be anything. Yeah. Um, again, as well, the places that we went to, yes, uh, we didn't really get a lot of activity. There are other places in the rocks. The rocks are massive. Sydney itself is huge. Yeah. However, the places that we went to itself. We didn't really encounter anything. Yeah. I think on the Ouija board, we're still going to play around with the Ouija board. Oh yeah, um, I think that will definitely feature in future episodes. Yeah, you know, I think doing it tonight took the fear out of it a little bit for me. Yeah, 100%. A little bit. I mean, I was a little bit creeped out, but yeah. I still don't really want to do it. But I, w I would love to get something on camera, I'd love to get an experience. And kind of see what it feels like. Yeah, and just not just that, but for you guys as well, like we were saying before, we're not experts at this, we're just curious about this kind of stuff yeah. and the way that we've gone about it is going, look, we have to see it to believe it and we want to try and experience it ourselves so rather than, you know, just watching videos that could be fake, we want to go out and try test and, ourselves. Yeah, test it ourselves and just kind of see yeah. it to believe it. Uh, from the past videos that we've had, you kind of lean towards, yeah, it's real, but... Yeah, you know, we just... Still we plenty just, more to experience out there. Yeah, we want to confirm yeah. it and we just... Anything, any possible way that we can do it, we can go about that. Anyways, guys, hope you did enjoy the video tonight. Unfortunately, it wasn't as filled and as crazy with uh, paranormal activity, I guess you'd say. We're going to call the rocks as debunked. We're not really going to say from our experience it's haunted. But for anyone that hasn't been to the rocks before, definitely urge you to come, check it out, have a walk around. Loads of history here. It's yeah, a cool it's place in general. It's a beautiful place to go around. Yeah. And with that said, guys, make sure you like, leave a comment, let us know if you've been here. I don't know, maybe you've experienced something we haven't. But yeah. until next time, yeah, let us know in the comments. Until next time, catch you guys later. Enjoy. Um, right as we finished filming, guys, the EMF started going nuts. Um, it is just a non-stop flashing to red. Brightest were about brightest was saying goodbye when we noticed it. So again, we didn't we really didn't get anything that crazy tonight. So we figured this is going nuts. We're gonna give the Dow shots a quick try just before we go. Um, just to see if I don't know, there's something here. Um, this could have been we believe this was a spot where people were hung back in the day. We're not hundred percent sure, but I don't know if it was, could it could explain this. So, a quick shot. Are there any spirits here with us right now that would like to communicate? If so, please put your energy into these rods and cross them. If there are any spirits here, past or present, Cross these rods, let us know you're here. We'd like to know your story and if possible, help you pass. Cross these rods if you'd like to talk. Can you uncross these rods, straighten them back out, and then we can begin to ask some questions. Straighten these rods back out, point them back towards Brendan, and then I can continue to ask some questions. Straighten these rods out. Straighten them back towards Brendan. If the spirit that I'm talking to 
if you're the one making the EMF reader spike, can you point both tips of the rods towards the EMF reader? If you're the spirit that's making the EMF reader spike, point both rods towards the EMF reader. One went. Can you make both rods point to it? Can you make the rod in my right hand point to the EMF reader? Right, this Holy this is fucking shit. Dude. Just so you guys can see, this is spiking, and the rods are pointing straight at it. If you died in this location, can you cross both rods outwards? all the way back around to my body. Both rods cross them all the way outwards if you died in this location. Holy, Holy fucking shit, Brendan. Dude. Maybe I'll see the Ouija board? Be brought with the Sinida Spirit Board otherwise known as an Ouija board. If you'd like us to use the Ouija board, can you cross these rods? Cross them as fast as you can. Or if you'd like us to continue using the dowsing rods, point both rods to my left. Again, cross these rods if you'd like us to use the Ouija board. Point both rods to the left if you'd like us to continue using the dowsing rods. It's dowsing rods. I've never felt it like this before. Ask, um, ask if it was hung here. If you are hung here, can you please straighten these rods back out? Point them back towards Brendan? Dude, I'm fucking packing heat right now. If you died in the 17th century, can you cross these roads? If you died in the 18th century, can you cross these roads? If you passed away in the 18th century, can you cross these roads? Were you hung because you were part of Rock's Push, the famous gang that controlled the rocks? If so, point these rods all the way to my right. If you were hung for your activities in the Rock's Push in the 1800s, can you make these rods both point to my right? That's right. Do you consider yourself a friendly spirit? Should we be, should we be afraid to talk to you right now? Or are you a safe spirit? If you're hostile, can you cross these roads all the way to my left? If you are friendly, can you cross them over in front of me? Friendly. Yeah. Thank you. Can you point both these rods to where you are? Can you point both the rods into the direction where you are? Show us where you are. Take both of these tips of the rods and point them into the direction where you are standing. Maybe Again, I'll, oh, if you
Don't be afraid. They're pointing right, that's pointing right next to me. If you are sitting to Brendan's right, can you cross these rods again? Cross these rods over if you're standing to Brendan's right. Well, that's comforting to know. What do you do? What do we do? Do we keep talking? Dude, that's... Fuck me, that's going red, dude. Yeah, right in my that hand. Going fucking red. I'm trying to get it in focus. Dude, that is going red. So I just move that look, to look, my look, right. Look, they're pointing back to it. They're pointing back to it. They're pointing back to where the EMF reader is. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I am doing this in one hand. Oh. We just so just point out point out what we are. We, we literally we, we just had a couple of people walk past, so we just stopped. We just stopped the rods real quick, and literally as we stopped, look, as we stopped talking, guys, as as we stopped talking, as I put the rods down, this stopped. As I put the rods down, this stopped. I've literally got chills running down the back of my neck, man. That was a, I mean, it was, it was a strong, it was a strong I just want to feeling. say goodbye, I just want to say goodbye. Yeah, go for it. It was a strong feeling, because even I'm, even me sitting here, I didn't want to disrupt it, even me sitting here was feeling To the spirit I just spoke to, thank you again for communicating. Dude, it's, it's going again. Yeah. Look, show them. But it's going right where. As soon as I put the rods back up, it starts going again. It's going right where he was pointing to before. As soon as I put the rods up, to whatever spirit I was just speaking to, thank you for communicating. I'd just like to take this chance to say that your loved ones are waiting for you. If you can, go to the light. Go to the light. Go to your loved ones. I'm sure they. All right, real quick, Rick. Just tell the people what happened. Um, yeah, sorry guys, the battery literally just died. We just had to swap out batteries. Um, we just had to swap batteries out real quick. That was, that was actually, that was, that was like the, the most intense dowsing on session we've ever done. We, we were literally about to, we were literally about to go and Brendan suggested, let's just give it one more crack. I mean, I didn't expect out of all places here, but Brendan, you had a feeling all night that this would be a spot. I just didn't think anything of it. Yeah, I just had that feeling that I had like last time when I said yeah. I feel like we're being watched and we had Weird. that activity and then it's, it was just that same feeling. I, the feeling that I didn't yeah. get down here there, but the feeling that I got here is the same yeah. feeling that I get whenever that, we get activity. That was honestly, guys, like the most. I like. I don't know if I don't know if you guys realize, but I was asking it to do like left, right. I, I, we've never seen yeah, it. Do it that wasn't before. just like crosses and straight. There was and real, this, there was and complex the EMF questions. was going nuts. Yeah. I've just turned it off now, but that was going nuts. Yeah. And the fact that it stopped when I put the rods down. Also, on top of that, here it was kind of chill, and then right next to me on the I right, can't explain it. it just exploded when it pointed to where it was. It just went. I can't explain that, man. And it's the first time that not only you were experiencing like feeling that, but even me here, yeah. I was feeling. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know what to say. Right after we finished the outro to us. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the extra clip. Um, we were going to call it. We weren't even going to do that. We weren't even going to pull the dancing ones out. Brendan just suggested last minute, let's try. And I don't know, maybe we take back about the rocks being debunked. Maybe we take that back. I don't know, guys, if you're into this sort of thing, come to this location where we are. Come under the harbour bridge, give it a try. There's parking. There's yeah, parking. because honestly that was... There. Yeah, that's the most active I've seen the rods. Let's get out of here. Let's call it a night. Let's do it. Yeah. Alright, see you guys. Don't forget to subscribe.